7.1c quadrants on a coordinate plane. We've been talking about this for the last couple of videos and there are four quadrants on a coordinate plane and they're numbered with Roman numerals going in a counterclockwise direction. So the way I tell everyone to remember it is it's the shape of a C for coordinate, coordinate plane. It starts here at 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. So it's going counterclockwise but it's in the shape of a C, isn't it, for coordinate. We can tell which quadrant our coordinates will be in based on their sign, positive or negative. See? Two positives, two negatives. Negative positive, positive negative. So if you were to look at these two number lines, these two lines that go on infinitely in either direction, if, they're, if both values of the ordered pair are positive, it's going to be plotted in quadrant one up in this corner where the C begins. And if both values of the ordered pair are negative, they're going to be plotted in quadrant 3. Kind of looks like this guy has the cartoon eyes, and this one's got sleepy eyes. See that? This guy kind of looks like he's winking, and so does this guy, doesn't he? But it's easy to remember that the two positives are up here and the two negatives are down there, okay? And the two number lines that divide the regions, the quadrants, are perpendicular. They make it a right angle right here at the origin, because the center part is the origin, isn't it? Right here. It's zero for y and zero for x, okay? Did you know that even a bar graph is a coordinate plane? This would be quadrant one, because they're both positive. So if we had three comma 200, three would be the x and 200 would be the y. That'd be right there. It'd be three, 200, see? And if we've got zero in our coordinate pair, we can see where they would be plotted. This is going to be the blue dot. This is going to be the pink dot. I know it looks red, but it's really like a dark pink. So if we've got an x for 5 and a 0 for y, that's going to be here. It's going to be on the line. It's on 5 and 0 for y, see? And if we've got a 0 and then a 5, it's going to be up here. So it's very different, isn't it? So don't confuse these two. You got to remember where the x-coordinate is and the y-coordinate is. And a point is not in a quadrant if there is a zero in the ordered pair. The x-axis and y-axis are not part of the quadrants. If there's a zero in the ordered pair, the point will be on a line, okay? So don't let anything trick you on a test or something if it says for five comma zero for x and y, which quadrant is it in? The answer is none, okay? All right, so remember the quadrants are numbered in the shape of a C. In our next video, 7.1D, we're going to be actually finding coordinates. In the previous video, we plotted points, and there's going to be links to these videos in this description. And we plotted points that were given, like when we were given a 5 and a 0, we plotted it on the coordinate plane. Now we're going to do the reverse. Now we're going to see uh, where the coordinates are, and we need to write the x and y values for them, okay? So it's going to be the reverse of plotting points, all right? I'm going to do that in 7.1d. I hope this was helpful, and I know I repeat myself a lot, but the reason for that is so that you don't have to study. You hear me say it so many times, you end up remembering it, okay? So that's why it's good to just let me keep repeating myself. You don't have to study so hard. I'll see you. Bye.